What's up fam, Sanga Tembo here with the biggest stories this week in music brought to you courtesy of ZambeziJuice.com Feel free to log in right now, let's start with the industry news updates Right quick, Sampa the Great Ali Puisha Media Tour Ayakwe Radio and TV and should be out of the country by now I believe that went well and happened at the same time Chef 187 na uh, Abena Yolanda were having their second anniversary Which is why you might not have seen Chefi in one of those interviews with Diamond and maybe won't even appear on Z podcast. We'll speak on that later on. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Kaira for making it two years in marriage. Man, I'm like six right now and I know what work goes in. So congratulations to you. As well as Mr. and Mrs. Mutalange, that's Ephraim and the wife who celebrate 12 years in marriage. Congratulations and God bless your marriages. Charlie Bravo questions local artists who try to get to the international stage by sounding like foreign artists saying you have to be more adventurous make sure your own indigenous zambian sound gets accepted out there where is your sense of discovery where is your sense of artistry and just finding new things compared to maybe afro beat my piano and all sorts of things to get you out there then one person in the comment section questioned his post saying yo if if Yes, genre Tairaba accepted. What will we do in the meantime as we wait for that sound that will be accepted? Kunsoku. Then he backtracked a little on his post saying, Well, fuse. And I believe that's what artists are doing right now with songs like Msimbi and songs like maybe the Afro beat that's on Maki 2's album, as well as Matu by 2. You can hear all sorts of influences there piano, drums, and uh, Congratulations to the I who signed an international distribution deal with Universal Music's In Grooves. These guys will facilitate Triller, TikTok, and other distribution platform placements. This could even be better than Nexus, where he's from and didn't really leave happy. A speedy recovery to Alpha Romeo, who a lot of social media platforms are now reporting is seriously unwell and in hospital. And now to industry drama with the biggest story this week coming in from Yo Maps and the family who want 30,000 Kwacha to appear on that Z podcast. Yo Maps initially was contacted by the Z podcast hosted by K Plus and Elson saying come up here let's chop it up. He said okay I'll come through. Then I think hours later called back and said the wife wants 30,000 and this is true looking at the fact that Kiddist has been you know behind him trying to support trying to be that ride or die she confirms it even in a live she just did with Sarafina saying my duty is to ensure everything is good around maps and she says another thing in another video saying yeah 30,000 yeah cheaper no cheaper we should have done 60 considering what they ask on that podcast now this Opinion has many divided in the industry. Some people say, yo, you cannot charge for an interview. Some saying, yo, considering what questions come per Z podcast, Yamoyala too personal, he has the right to charge. Here's Abel Black's take before I give my personal take. What value would your maps have gotten from the podcast? So the thing about podcasts is they give you they give you a certain narrative. They give you control over telling your story and giving the right perspective. So I believe if your maps had gone to the podcast, he was going to connect with his already existing fans in a deeper sense and would have brought out a different side of him. The thing or the beauty about interviews is they allow you to explain yourself to your fans. Interviews can make you respect people because you understand the full context of a story. The other thing is the platform would have given your maps a new audience. The fact of the matter is you are never too big to get a new audience. There are always people that don't know you, regardless of how big you might be. So you never know. The connections that you get in life are unpredictable. So it just could be that one guy that watches an episode and is like, I like this guy. And maybe that guy's connections to Universal Music or any other big label or any other platform. And they could call up this guy to say, yo, I saw you on that said podcast and I feel like we could do something together. So never underestimate where a connection can get you. <clears throat> what would the platform have benefited from having your maps? So the podcast would have obviously gotten more views in terms of YouTube views. They would have gotten more views clearly because big, uh, your maps is a big artist and is very good on the digital platforms that is on. The fan base obviously that is exposed to regarding like social media and all that stuff. They would also 
know about the podcast and then also the video in itself and the audio will provide content for the podcast the unfortunate thing is this thing wasn't done well enough the communication became a pr mess if your maps didn't want to give these guys the exposure of his audience you would have gotten better results by staying quiet about it but the fact that your maps actually opened up and started <laughs> replying back that just gives them the attention that they are not going to have or in hip-hop when a rapper sends you a diss track and they're not on your level and you stand more to lose than gain from a particular situation rappers just don't respond value is different sometimes value can be exchanged in forms of relationships Sometimes it could be exchange of services. Sometimes, sometimes it could be money. So these guys running the podcast, they know that. They understand that. They have adverts on their platform. They have built this platform. If you look at the people they initially started hosting on the platform, it was people they knew personally. And they actually used the relationships they had from the past. But then you can't assume that would be the case with everyone. So I think also the podcast, in trying to make a big issue of your maps' offer, it's a bit hypocritical because these guys should understand what value exchange is at this point. And if they have nothing of value that they can give him or that the artist can't see you gain from them, it's not supposed to be a political or controversial thing. It should just be clear and they should move on. There was a better way to handle this in terms of like communication. Okay, you heard about that value exchange who's getting the shine and who's benefiting more. Here's my take. I feel like the issue with your maps and family, and I mean Kidist and uh, Linakandeke, that management group, has been the way they handle these things. I have no problem with you placing a price on appearing for Z podcast, 60, 100,000. You're the one with the juicy stories. And for all I know, you think they are going to ask about Muizu and you feel like even your body language might answer some stuff that you don't want out there so you'd rather control your own narrative by going to maybe helen who you choose to give what you choose to give maybe even for free you know but my only issue is how you go about this man that fighting in the media that arrogance that gets displayed in your lives sometimes it would be great and beneficial if that was all packaged in reality show format because to have you know but it's just coming off as very insulting you know even to the people who watch you even to the people who support you i don't think you want to go against zambian masses this way i know your maps spoke to Mr. Spalo, recently, that's difficult. He's saying, this is not about the fans. This is about me knowing my worth, knowing value, and presenting that value to a podcast saying, we need this money for us to appear there. But how you handle this, you and your wife, is turning people against you, is having people root for you to fail, which is not good because you are a talented artist. Because I ain't got my opinions in them on a social media. I refer, oh, pride goes before your fall. Oh, one day, one day, one day. JK was a big artist. This and this was a big artist. But you all let you you'll be there forever. So already that energy that you're putting out there is being met with that negative energy. So maybe it's time for the cliche thing to happen. Everything that we've been saying, you need to tone down or get a reality show. Then people will understand that, oh, reality shows are in this format and ratchetness is appreciated there. So, hey, they're doing that, making money off of it. Maybe you are actually breaking barriers or getting to new levels of media by doing what you're doing with your wife. But how it looks right now, especially that... Abo even said you didn't even have to pay. You gave Z Podcast that clout already. So maybe holding back would have even been more valuable because they would have been on their own complaining about the 30,000. You were no Landa, but you were Landa and Apamuambo Ronklash, they exposed how much money you get in a month. Other people are even chiming in now saying, no, that's quarterly, $3,000, not monthly. So. For a big star, the big star that you are, I feel like there's need to be a discreet thing. Your maps likes to say, you cannot tell me anything. I'll say whatever I want. I'm not like one of those stars who hide stuff. I'll say whatever I want. But it's not always good for your image, hey? 
it's not always good for your image that's just my personal take your music is great top man top man you're on top but be careful what you do while there because even the people around you probably even industry people telling you oh do you do you don't don't worry about it man some of them deep down wouldn't do what you're doing and are just watching on the sidelines. Some of them even in competition with you saying, ah, like, eh, nah, na wele, tuka wele, patop, oh, tuka chite e in the way anymore, you know. There's few people who will tell you when you're on top that, hey, you're going the wrong way. And uh, I just hope, I just hope you tone down a bit. I hope, I'm not telling you to, I'm hoping. If you choose to do your own thing, do that. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't, but we love your music. That's really my take on it, man. It's really how you're handling this thing. People place value on themselves all the time. Even Chris Rock wants to be paid to talk about the Will Smith slap. And that's in interview form, I'm sure. So I'm not against you charging that. But how you are going about it and how it looks is really the problem I have with it. But anyway, do you. It's worked up to now, right? With the Mwizukaji scandals, everything else that has been dramatic in your life has probably has yielded fruit and gotten people to look your way all the time. So maybe this is one of those things. I wish you well. Sampa the Great is the next guest per Z podcast and they announced it right when this Yo Maps thing happened. Some people are saying, watch that announce it, yeah? as a rebuttal to what has been happening. The 30,000 issue is saying, look at Sampa, a bigger artist internationally. And we're getting half for free. Who are you? Eko af mine na vena elso ni dia ko eva talo. Gama tu di pi sha fifty thousand niche niche sungu sha ni. Yeah, tu kala ndeve chungu na gusha ni, which was a low blow in elso fashion. But like I said before, it doesn't really need to get to all this. But you know how it is these days. It's the drama that sells things. Aqualask in response to D. Jones' claim that Musimbi was his song to begin with. The sound and everything similar. And it was all stolen. I, I would have never done that to him. He was supposed to consult with me on a personal level. Because he knows me. He knows where my mother stays. He knows everything about me. Mm -hmm. So he was supposed to come to me and say, bro, watch this. And I was supposed to explain. Because everything he told people was a lie. It was a lie? It was a lie. I was the first person to jump on this sound that you're listening to now. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I did a song called Baza. That was the first one. We didn't put it out because I gave it to Nexus. So I had to do something independently. That's why I put out Musimbi instead. I never even heard Dijon's song. Yeah. I was the first person to jump on this sound you're listening to from Easy. I did that song two months back. I was the first one to put out the trailer for the song. But he came in and rushed saying, Man, better nimbo. I don't understand why you could do such a stupid thing. <laughs> on my side you know wow but he's no longer my brother we're never gonna be on the same page that's one thing i i, I don't love people who disrespect me like that bombshell is responding to rumors that she's pregnant with her second child i know most of you are like second there's a first <laughs> do your research fam her private life has been kept private for the longest but not na <laughs> And that's it for industry drama. Let's look at new music. B Mac just announced Mac of All Trades is coming soon. That's the album track list. Na fiance fiama album art fili on the way already. I'm sure they're just waiting on how to rap to run its course. Then they'll drop another one on us. Uchi drops a new EP titled Honey. Check it out. Bar Gang just dropped the takeover part two. And finally, all albums by Pompey have surpassed a million streams all across credits on Boomplay. He's the first artist to achieve this. Congratulations to the African ego. And that's it for this week in music. My name is Sangatembo. Catch me back here next week. And do not forget, ZambeziJuice.com is where it's at.